Devin Haney versus Subiel Matias. A lot of people been gassing Matias up. You know, I seen him fight a couple of times before. He's okay, but for some reason, it seems like he's getting a lot of attention all of a sudden. Um, when I watch him fight, I feel like he throws some very, very dynamic combinations very dynamic combinations. He knows how to vary up the the pressure he throws on the punches as well. Sometimes Matias will throw light punches or lighter punches just to keep landing on his opponent. He makes sure he knows how to just land with pure speed and let go of the power. Very dynamic puncher on the inside. Sometimes some of the combinations he throws reminds me a little bit of Crawford. He's a little bit reminiscent of Crawford, the way he throws some of those punches on the inside inside but I have to be honest against a fighter the caliber of Devin Haney there's one thing that really stands out to me about Matias' style is this lack of footwork um he he very very is um you know a kind of flat-footed fighter he walks forward he kind of stands there and if sometimes he's not standing there I mean, he's really stationary. He'll put up the high guard and stand stationary in front of his opponent. I don't think that's a good uh, tactical way to fight against a fighter like Devin Haney. He utilizes a lot of counter punches off of footwork. He utilizes a lot of footwork to set up punches, to set up shots. Um, Almost after every attack Devin Haney throws, he has a defensive movement and then some footwork behind it. If you're not up to that level, I feel like he will expose that on you. If they were to fight, I have to be honest, I will lean towards Devin Haney. That's just my honest personal opinion. Matias is good, though.